Recently, I decided that I actually hate myself and have way too much free time, so today I'm gonna try to beat Pokemon Scarlet, but I have to catch a shiny after every trainer battle. That's a whole lot of shinies, so let's get started. We begin the game, choose the cat, and beat Nimona, which means that after about 15 minutes of gameplay, we have to find a shiny on Route 1 before we can progress any further. This is one of the most difficult shiny hunts in the entire game, partially because we don't have access to any means of boosting our odds that we can use later on, but mostly because it is just so dang boring to run around this tiny little area. Regardless, we psych ourselves up and start taking laps, KOing Pokemon along the way to get them to respawn, but mostly just to give ourselves something to do. We continue to lap the area, murdering innocent Pokemon along the way, talking to ourselves alone in our room, and questioning how our life ended up here. Kill him. Kill them all. Then we finally see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Shiny Lechonk, baby. Just have to catch it. That's all we have to do is catch it. I was hoping it would be a Lechonk, honestly, because it is the color of delicious ham. Lechonk more like Ledonk, am I right? <laughs> With our little pink porker by our side, we move on, rescue Karadon, then battle Arvin. Hit him with the old echoed voice. Oink on him. After 15 more minutes of riveting gameplay, we're stuck until we find another shiny. This is a similar small area situation like the first hunt, but at least this time we have a lot more room to roam. We scour South Province Area 1, and as I'm writing this script looking at the map, I'm realizing just how lazy the area names in this game are. Anyway, we take some laps down to the beach and back again until oh 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 i will take a shiny azrael i will take it let's go it's my little dog right there and it just gets right in the ball Woo! oh azzy that's really nice azzy huge power too yeah! not too shabby two shinies in and we're almost done with the tutorial real quick before i go any further i do want to ask that if you're enjoying the content you take a second to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'm currently in a huge race to 1 million subscribers with none other than Hollywood heartthrob and future winner of the 2035 People Magazine Sexiest Man Alive Award, Kevin James. He's got a big lead, but with your help, we can end Paul Blart's reign of terror. Anyway, with our second shiny secured, we can progress about 50 steps before we're forced into another battle against Demona. Get him with your bubble beam! Oh no. Alright, we're switching. Echoed voice, one shot. Let's go! Easy enough, but what's not super easy is finding a third shiny before even getting access to school. We just spent an ungodly amount of time in area one, but without going to school, we still can't access the rest of the map. Or at least that's what the game wants you to think. Are you sure about that? As you're probably well aware, this game has some issues. So what we're able to do is head up to the hills and take a little shortcut. We're gonna go across here. There we go. I guess they're gonna be pretty high level, so. We use this Toxel to boost our way over the gap out into the wide open world. That Toxel kindly escorting us out of bounds must have been a divine sign because not too long after we break out of the tutorial zone, this happens. Oh, that's a shiny up there. That's a shiny up there. How do I get up there? How do I make sure it doesn't despawn? Maybe I can target it from down here. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Yes. Ultra ball, maybe? Got him. Secured. Gonna name it Pinky. Pinky joins the team and we move into Mesagoza and start heading up to school. But along the way, we're stopped by Team Star and forced into not one, but two back-to-back -back battles. We defeat them, then head into school to get access to the rest of the world before we make good on catching the shinies from those battles. In school, we, <laughs> we learn a lot. Wait, there are how many battles in this game? Oh, oh no. Not only do we have to defeat 18 major bosses, but most of these bosses also have secondary battles attached to them. Not to mention the rival battles with Nimona and everything else along the way. I'm gonna level with you. I got sponsors to please and a life to live. I don't have time to catch 30 plus more shinies for this video. So from this point forward, I hereby rename this video Pokemon Scarlet, but I catch a shiny after every major battle. Basically, anytime we defeat any of these 18 bosses. I'm sure you'll all be understanding and self-aware in the comments. We do still decide to catch at least one shiny for those Team Star battles in town, and since we're through the tutorial and into the main part of the game, we finally get access to a huge buff in our shiny hunting ability, Mass Outbreaks. If you don't know, in this game, every day there are multiple Mass Outbreaks of Pokemon across the world of Paldea. 
Galea. These outbreaks cause a ton of the same Pokemon to spawn in a small area, and if you defeat 60 out of the 100 Pokemon that spawn in a given outbreak, the chance that a shiny spawns for the rest of the outbreak is drastically increased. So we go ahead and find a mass outbreak of small lift near the first gym and start taking out all of our pent-up childhood frustration. 12. 31. 60. Now that we've defeated over 60 small of, we start entering and exiting a picnic. Looking for a little black olive. Ooh, there's a little clump of them. I need to look this way. Really looking for a shiny, I would say. That's a disappointing spawn. Okay. We're getting no spawns here, huh? This might seem strange, but it actually resets all the Pokemon that are spawned in the area around us, meaning that we can generate an infinite number of small live at the increased shiny odds without ending the mass outbreak by defeating all 100 Pokemon. We have a huge amount of very short picnics until this happens. Oh, is that it? I think that might be it. Yes! There he is. Oh, I love shiny small live. Love me some shiny small live. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Martini, the small if. Now we're able to go ahead and do the olive roll and battle the first gym leader, Katie, which goes, uh, okay. Oh, we lost to Katie. Uh, let's try that again. This time we charm. We don't get crit and we charm. Yes, yes. We drop its attack harshly and we potion and then we slam. Cause I, you know, slam doesn't, it's not really a move that misses. I think it's pretty accurate. If I do say so myself, no, haven't seen it miss. No, it doesn't miss. Yeah, and it's that easy. <laughs> Now that we've managed to narrowly scrape our way through the first gym, I owe you another shiny. We head west of Mesa Goza and start moving our switch's date forward day by day. Since mass outbreaks are daily occurrences, moving our date forward by a day changes what outbreaks are occurring across the world. We do this until we find an outbreak in the area, which turns out to be an invasion of Makuhita. We start doing the old mass outbreak beatdown, but we don't get too far into it before this happens. Oh, <laughs> oh, it just, okay, it just, it just spawned. It just spawned as we were working through the mass outbreak. That's fine. I'll take it. Hey, you get back here. Don't you go anywhere there, big boy. Gut. That's what I'm gonna call him. Gut. Yeah, that was pretty lucky, but I'm not complaining. We use our new friend to crush the Titan Cloth into tiny pebbles, then get to looking for our next shiny. We find an outbreak of Tadbulb, which is intriguing, but also infuriating. Since we can't swim yet, defeating these semi-aquatic tadpoles is a little bit frustrating. 13. Ah. Just hit him with the move. Just hit him. Kill it. Can't really tell when they're below the water. But we battle through the pain and eventually stumble across this little fella. I think that's it. Get there, finally. Woo. All right, get in the ball. I don't care. Not going to weaken you. You better just get in that ball, Tad Bub. Okay. Not going to go quietly, huh? This doesn't kill, right? Okay. Maybe one or two more flails. Let's just try and catch it now. Love to see it. Let's go. Tad, really creative. With another shiny on the team, we can head over to Artisan and do the next gym. We do the gym challenge thing, and as we're wrangling the Sunflora, we get our first evolution. Oh, Ladonk's evolving, nice. Okay. Get a nice pink oink alone. After we finish rounding up all the Sunflora, we run out of time to play for the day and end the recording. Then when we start playing the next day, we just kind of forget to battle Brassius and start looking for our next shiny. I, I think we'll get back to him eventually. Anyway, we evolve our Azuril in a random field, then we decide we should probably start looking for a shiny Sprigatito. Since the starters at the beginning of the game are shiny locked, the only way to get a sparkly kitty is through breeding, which on its own has way worse odds than the mass outbreak method. But if you're a clever hunter and person with two switches and a lot of different save files like myself, you can breed in a way that makes this process much quicker. Most of you will probably be familiar with it. It's called the Masuda method. By using a ditto that's a different language than your game, any eggs you get from this ditto will have a one in 683 chance of being shiny versus the base odds of just one in 4,096. And it just so happens that I have a foreign language ditto floating around on an old save file. So we trade in our Japanese baby maker and get down to business. All right, you two, get busy. Come on, come on. Get to making them the babies. 
right now. Unfortunately, getting eggs in Scarlet and Violet is a little bit annoying and more manual than in previous games. The biggest problem is that you have to be in a picnic for your Pokemon to produce eggs, which means that you can't be hatching eggs at the same time you're producing them like you used to be able to with the daycare. But that's not gonna stop us from trying. We stock up on eggs, then start hatching them as we run through the world until... Is that? I believe that would be a shiny mash gift. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Well, we can stop looking for this for now. Young Pert. With another team member snagged and Brassius still not battled, we head up to fight the Titan Bombardier because we still haven't realized our mistake. Stork. Come on. One more rock throw, baby. Smackdown. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go, Nackley. Right after the battle, something extremely strange happens. Oh, my God. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have two shiny Merrells here. Did we just multiply our shinies? This is insane. Do you think the one in the front's gonna evolve too? What a weird... Oh, bye. Disappointed that we didn't successfully clone our shiny Meryl, we get back to mass outbreak hunting while hatching a few kitty eggs on the side. At this point, you know the drill. We find an outbreak of Flittle and do the thing. But this time, we start to innovate. What I realized is that it might just be faster to run a few feet away from the outbreak and despawn the Pokemon, then run back in versus opening and closing a picnic. At least, it's a more engaging way to play the game. Anyway, we run back and forth spawning new Flittle until... Oh, 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 oh. Yes, we get to move on as long as we catch it. Let's go. Shiny Flittle. Uh-oh, it can burn itself. Please get in the ball. Oh, please get in the ball, Flittle. All right, we're good. All right, we're gonna call it Deb. Next, we stun our way through the first team star hideout with our shiny squad, then duke it out with this terrible Euro Trash DJ. All right, young perp, get back in there. <laughs> Got him. Finally. Now we can finally get back to our favorite job of fighting mass outbreaks and hatching a few eggs. Such a weird location for a mass outbreak. I don't know if you could call this a mass outbreak. Oh, yes. Easy. Easy. We've had some insane luck with these mass outbreaks. Let's go. Man, shinies are there for those who are willing to look. After we catch Nackley, we finally realize that we forgot to fight Brassius. So we go ahead and do that with our overleveled team. Since we already caught the shiny for this gym earlier, we can make our way straight over to face Iona. But before we can battle her, we have to make our debut on stream where we give the people what they really want. Dang, would Donk actually living up to their name? <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Stupid thick Ladonk. I, actually, the best nickname I've ever given a Pokemon is Ladonk because, I mean, God damn, look at that thing. It's a little bit of a derail. Okay, Iona, it's going down. Let's go, Ladonk. Dig does big dammy. Not really. Not really. Oh, my God. That was so much damage. Oh, nice. Okay, I have to stay. I was gonna go to the bathroom, but I have to stay to see this. Yeah! Shiny Dollop. We have one of these uh, from our glitches video, but I still, this is one of my favorite shinies in the game. After beating Iona, we set out to hatch some more eggs and find another mass outbreak. But just as we start exploring, something amazing happens. Oh, a little bit of a shiny Marini situation, huh? hey oh, Getting the ball? Great. Spike. That shiny is our ticket to our next battle against Mela. So we work our way over to her base, evolving our Makahita, then demolishing her goons until she comes out to fight. Bubble beans. Yeah, it's not doing a ton of damage, but it's not so bad. A few of these and it'll go down. One and two. Dead. Nice. This is the point where we decide that it's about time that we finally get this shiny kitty. We stop messing around and start only hatching eggs. A lot of cats hatched. A lot of cats. God, I wish this anim animation was faster. I really do hate this animation. Ooh, nice. Oh, it is about time, Mr. Kitty. How many eggs did it take us? Five versus six, yeah. 30, 60, 90. Three weeks later. 183 eggs. All things considered, that was a pretty quick Masuda shiny. We fight the Titan Earthworm, then seek out our next shiny in the desert. Wild Varum. I will, I will hunt for Varum. I like Varum a lot. And I like it shiny. Oh, got it. Hopefully it doesn't have self-destruct or something. Get in the ball, Varum. Nice. Goldie locks oh and young perp is evolving nice let's go perp oh shiny mabossif is also purple let's go looks good all right back to it big battle against kofu we're not faster but we should one shot it with seed bomb nice 
Please, got him. Um, we'll just go here, hit it with the play rough, and we'll be good. We'll be good. It's all good. Slam. Interesting. And kill. Got him. Beautiful. Another one in the record books. We start looking for another good mass outbreak to shiny hunt post Kofu, but along the way, we find this. Wait. <laughs> Huh, it's just a shiny Mudbray, huh? I was like, that Mudbray looks kind of weird. Uh, all right, we'll take it. All right, I'm, I am going to call it Piss Horse. Nice. We have a few Pokemon on the cusp of evolving, so we take some time to get those done. Ooh, and it evolves before we go into the fight. Let's go. Let's go, Piss Horse. Ooh, it stays a Piss Horse. Just doing a little bit of uh, experience candying to get some evolutions. Ooh. Oh, it's the amped form, right? Or is that low key? I don't know. I like it either way. It's like Ronald McDonald. Then we head into battle the next team star leader. I would love it if Mudsdale could make it through this entire battle, but I don't have a ton of confidence that that will be the case. Spin out. How much is this going to do? Oh, not much at all. That's amazing. And it's dropping its own speed. Oh, huge damage. Okay, so we died to poison next turn. Rip piss horse. Get him, Pinky. Try spark. All right, there we go. Got him. <laughs> about time. A tight battle, but we come out on top, Then, for some reason we decide not to exit the laggy hellscape that is the tag tree thicket and instead hunt for a shiny Grafii. Oh, nice. There it is. I like it. I'm gonna name it E.T. because of the fingy. We evolve our kitty into its final form, then head in to take on the next gym leader, Larry. Let's battle, baby. You and me, Larry. All right, Hariyama. Terrasilize will hit it with a super effective force palm and hopefully it paralyzes and we can two shot it. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Ow. That did way more damage than I thought it would. It should die though. It's fine. Got him. Certainly threw me for a loop. Yeah, get shit on. Ooh, mass outbreak of Toad's cool. Oh man, Toad's cool shiny is so obvious and so cool. Get back here. He runs so goofy. That's so funny. <laughs> Go! We defeat the hordes of Toad's cool, then start searching for our shiny, but we run out of time to play for the day and put it aside until tomorrow. But when we load up the game on the next day, all right, we're back, baby. Oh, the mass outbreak reset because it was the next day. Oh, rip. Not too big of a deal, just kind of a bummer because I wanted that shiny toad's cool. Instead, we have to settle for a mass outbreak of Drifloon. Five, six. Oh, look at that Titan down there. Seven. That's a cool view. It's nice that it actually renders. Oh, there it is. Very nice. Very nice. Hello, gamer. Time to get into my ball. Netball. I like shiny Drifloon. I like shiny Drifblim too. It's maybe in the upper half of the Pokemon that I love. Top 50, I would say. And it's just a balloon that kidnaps children. And it's yellow. There it is. Piss balloon. Pee loon. Funny. Before we go battle the next gym leader, Rhyme, we train up the team a bit and get some new killer evolutions. Oh, it looks almost the exact same. It's only three feet 11. Evolution for Martini. Ooh, the old Arbalava. Ooh, Blockhead's evolving too? Dang, boy. Getting all the evolutions before the gym. Good old orange knackle stack or gargonackle. All right. Ooh, the first appearance of ET. Flower trick maybe kills here. It does, yeah. So it, rhyme. After beating Rhyme, we decide to change things up, and instead of doing a mass outbreak on land, we take to the high seas. Soarin Out on the vast Paldean Sea, we find a mass outbreak of Finizen. Oh, it's purple, and then the hero form is so sick. Just resetting for my purple dolphin. Oh, there it is. Hey, yo. God, look at how sick that Pokemon looks. That is an amazing shiny. I did not expect it to be so awesome. Plumper. Plump. With Finizen on the team, we boot up our second switch, then level our dolphin up in the Union Circle to evolve it into our hero, Palafin. Now we just need somewhere to show off this dolphin's true strength. <laughs> Chinese Pathra is insane. Mass outbreak of Sand Isle. I do believe that is a shiny Sand Isle. Hey yo, get in the ball, Lyle. Oh, 
you're going down. Oh, big live! Big live! Shadow Ball kills! Yeah! The hunt at high odds for Shiny Magneton begins. Is that it? Yeah. Nice. Woo! Gonna call it R2. In this game, it's a Thunderstone evolution for Magneton. So we can just evolve R2 straight up. Ooh. The final gym leader. It's time. Now that we've beaten the final gym leader, Grusha, we're in the home stretch. To celebrate wrapping up Victory Road, this time we decide to try for a very special shiny. God, they're hard to see. Oh, they're jumping. God, I love shiny Magikarp. Just made of solid gold. So cool. Oh, so cool. A nice trophy for our victory. We evolve some of the stragglers in our box, then head in to fight Ortega. The final three shinies. Glimmit. Oh, and we're stuck. Okay. Whoa. All right. There it is. Oh, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous because this can self destruct. Oh. Whoo. Gonna name it Shimmer. And we get the seed, the shiny Glamora, which is dope. I like that. It's like Wildberry Pop Tart. I love Wildberry Pop Tart colors. All right. I will take this. I will take it. Uh, we're just walking and we'll take it. Nice. Shaker. This evolution will also ruffle some feathers. If you don't go for Crosslass, you go for Glalie instead. Imagine. Imagine shiny Glalie. You and me, girl. Let's dance. After defeating Eri, we're finally on our last shiny. And so we decide to make it a good one. So we reset until we get a mass outbreak of Noivern, who has one of my favorite shinies of all time. But as we're doing our whole knockout and reset strategy, something crazy happens. Well, um, it looks to me like we just found a shiny go-goat. Very nice. It may not be what we were looking for, but it's still a shiny, so we can't be too mad. And that pretty much wraps up our challenge. We move into the end game where we beat the rest of the battles and save the world. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Till next time.